From the beginning, design has made computers more helpful by making them easier to use, more personal. In 2014, we introduced material design to address the explosion of mobile phones. It set a new standard for Android apps, and for Google, it rationalized our products simply and beautifully. But today, the challenge is even bigger. Now we're at a moment where computers are showing up in places that we never imagined. It's also a moment where people are yearning to express their individuality and demanding control from their technology. We believe this is a challenge for the whole industry to acknowledge that emotion is essential and that beauty is personal. To face this challenge, we had to question everything. Instead of form following function, what if form followed feeling? Instead of Google Blue, we imagined Material You, a new design that includes you as a co-creator, letting you transform the look and feel of all your apps by generating personal material palettes that mix color science with a designer's eye and engineering UI elements to respond in real time, we can delight every style. A new design that can flex to every screen and fit every device. Your apps adapt comfortably every place you go. A new design that never compromises on accessibility, granting transformative control of contrast, size, and even line width. Material can satisfy every need. No longer defaulting to one size fits all, Material U is a radical new way to think about design. We invested years into advancing UI engineering, making it possible for any app, not just Google's, to blend in their user styles and stay unique and beautiful. As designers, sharing control of every pixel is terrifying. But that leap of faith is revolutionizing design across Google. For the first time, we can consider the details of devices together with the pixels on their screens. We unify everything that Google makes through common proportions, textures, and shapes. We give you tasteful choices, blending into your homes and complementing your wardrobes. More than choice, we uniquely tailor your Google products for the perfect fit. Beyond light and dark, a mode for every mood. These selections can travel with your account across every app and every device. Material U comes first to Google Pixel this fall, including all of your favorite Google apps. And over the following year, we will continue our vision, bringing it to the web, Chrome OS, wearables, smart displays, and all of Google's products. Material U is a way to design differently. We can't wait to see what brings you joy and what you find beautiful. Next are the details of Android 12. Beyond the redesigned widgets and your material palette, Samir will show you our most personal OS ever. Hi, everyone. It's great to be back live at Google I.O. What you just saw was a peek into the biggest design change to Android in years. And we're going to go through all of it. But first, 
I wanted to share some exciting news with you. Just this week, we crossed an amazing milestone. There are now 3 billion active Android devices around the world. This would never have been possible without the entire Android ecosystem. But there's so much more to do. And Android 12 is one of our most ambitious releases ever. There are three big themes that we're focused on. First, smartphones are deeply personal. And we think your phone should adapt to you, not the other way around. Second, to keep your personal information safe, the OS should be secure by default and private by design. And third, we want all of your devices, TVs, cars, watches, and more, to work better together with your phone at the center. I'm excited to show you more. So let's start by taking a look at our new UI for Android. We've overhauled everything from the lock screen to system settings, revamping the way we use color, shapes, light, and motion, inspired by Material U. Let me show you what we've done with color. We've got something new planned for Google Pixel using what we call color extraction. Think of it as one part art and one part science. Watch what happens when the wallpaper changes. Like if I use this picture of my kids actually getting along for once. I set it as my background and voila! The system creates a custom palette based on the colors in my photo. We use a clustering algorithm with material color targets to determine which colors are dominant, which ones are complementary, and which ones just look great together. It then applies hues across different parts of the interface. In other words, it's going to be beautiful. The result is a one-of-a-kind design, just for you. And you'll see it first on Google Pixel in the fall. But this new UI is more than a visual redesign. Many interactions have been simplified and system spaces purposefully reimagined. Starting from the lock screen, the design is more playful with dynamic lighting. Pick up your phone and it lights up from the bottom of your screen. Press the power button to wake up the phone instead and the light ripples out from your touch. Even the clock is in tune with you. When you don't have any notifications, it appears larger on the lock screen so you know you're all caught up. The notification shade is more intuitive with a crisp, at-a-glance view of your app notifications, whatever you're currently listening to or watching, and quick settings that give you control over the OS with just a swipe and a tap. The quick setting space doesn't just look and feel different. It's been redesigned to include Google Pay and home controls while still allowing for customization so you can have everything you need right at your fingertips. And now, you can invoke the Google Assistant by long pressing the power button, making it easier than ever to harness the power of Google. Our engineers have done some pretty amazing work on performance in Android 12 to make all the motion and animation in the UI super smooth. We greatly reduce lock contention in key system services such as Activity, Window, and Package Manager. And the team also reduced the CPU time of Android's system server by a whopping 22%. Basically, everything's faster. There's a lot to explore in this new design, and I can't wait for you all to try it out. Now, the design isn't the only part of the device that's personal. Our phones hold so much important information, and it's critical to keep it private and secure. To tell you more about that, let me hand it off to Suzanne. Hi, everyone. From our first device to three billion today, we design security and privacy for everyone, no matter how expensive their device is. We built game-changing capabilities for everyone, from file-based encryption to TLS by default and secure DNS to prevent traffic tampering and data breaches. And since 2017, Google Pixel and Samsung Galaxy have continually received the highest security rating 
in Gartner's annual mobile OS comparison report. Simply put, the most secure devices run on Android. And with Android 12, we're going even further to keep your information safe. Let's start with a common experience, granting an app access to sensitive information. Turn-by-turn -turn directions based on your precise location are really helpful, but we recognize that this access can also raise privacy questions. To give people more transparency and control, we've created a new privacy dashboard that shows you what type of data was accessed and when. This dashboard reports on all the apps on your phone, including all of your Google apps. And we've made it really easy to revoke an app's permission directly from the dashboard. We've also added an indicator to make it clear when an app is using your camera or microphone. But let's take that a step further. If you don't want any apps to access the microphone or camera, even if you've granted them permission in the past, we've added two new toggles in quick settings so you can completely disable those sensors for every app. So those are a few examples of privacy you can immediately see. We're excited to share more on under the hood privacy, privacy that's baked into the heart of Android. As machine vision, speech recognition, and AI become increasingly beneficial, there are even more opportunities for the OS to be helpful. And to make it easier for everyone to embrace these new innovations, we're combining cutting edge features with powerful privacy. You heard Jen talk about the ways we're building private by design technology. Thanks to advances here with Android's private compute core, we're able to introduce new features using our unique AI capabilities while still keeping your personal information safe, private, and local to your phone. Android's private compute core enables things like now playing, which tells you what song is playing in the background and Smart Reply, which suggests responses to your chats based on your personal reply patterns. And there's more to come later this year. And by the way, all of the sensitive audio and language processing happens exclusively on your device. It's isolated from the network to preserve your privacy. And like the rest of Android, Private Compute Core is open source. It's fully inspectable and verifiable by the security community. Android is the first commercial mobile operating system to enable technically enforced privacy like this. And this is just one of the ways we'll continue to pioneer innovation while also maintaining the highest standards of privacy, security, and safety. And there's a whole lot more for privacy and security in Android 12 which you can hear about in our What's New in Android Privacy session later today. Now I'll hand it back to Samir to talk about how we're building for a multi-device world. Thanks, Suzanne. Phones have become the center of our digital lives, and they interact with a ton of other devices we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Laptops, TVs, cars, and more. This next chapter of Android is focused on delightful and helpful experiences across all the devices that are connected to your phone so that everything just works better together. Let's start by looking at how your phone works with your Chromebook. With a single tap, you can unlock and sign into your Chromebook when your phone is nearby. Incoming chat notifications from apps on your phone are right there in Chrome OS. And soon, if you wanna share a picture, one click and you can access your phone's most recent photos. As another simple example, let's talk about your TV's remote. If your home is like mine, the remote is missing like 50% of the time. To keep movie night on track, we're building TV remote features directly into your phone. You can use voice search or even type with your phone's keyboard. It's effortless. For the more than 80 million devices using Android TV OS, this will work right out of the box. And we want all of your smart devices to work together, not just those in your home, even your car. In fact, Android Auto is available in more than 100 million cars. And the vast majority of new vehicles from loved brands like Ford, GM, Honda, and more will support 
Android Auto Wireless. No more cords. We're also really excited to introduce support for digital car key. Car key will allow you to lock, unlock, and start your car, all from your phone. It works with NFC and ultra wideband technology, making it super secure and easy to use. Just walk up to your car, step in, and away you go. And if your friend needs to borrow your car, you can remotely and securely share your digital key with them. Car Key is launching this fall with select Google Pixel and Samsung Galaxy smartphones. And we're working with BMW and others across the industry to bring it to their upcoming cars. Okay, that was a quick look at Android 12, which will launch this fall. But you can check out many of these features in the Android 12 beta today. Try it out on phones from 11 device makers, including Google Pixel, OnePlus, and Xiaomi. From a personalized UI to industry-leading innovation in privacy and security, and better experiences across all the devices in your life, there's so much transformative technology coming to your phone this year. 